Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponderon Weather coming at you with another video. In this update, we're going to be talking about winter storms that are brewing and go over some of the storm tracks that puts wintry precipitation in places that may have not seen any so far this year. So before I do get started, if you do like weather related content, please subscribe to my channel as I will upload daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. And I do ask you to share this video with your friends and family on social media. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna start off with the overall 500 uh, millibar pattern. We look at the upper levels because that's what's actually going on in the atmosphere and that will transpire to the surface. We've had kind of a very active time frame. We had that active time frame over Christmas and then then we also had another active time frame by New Year's Eve and kind of New Year's Day. And we kind of got in these what they call seven day cycles sometimes. So overall, the atmosphere is what they call kind of reloading and, and building. So there's not terribly too much going on uh, over the next several days, but it will build over time and it will start getting active as we go deeper into this week and especially by this weekend getting into early next week. So let's kind of walk you through this. Here is the, the latest 500 millibar as of this morning. And here we've got this developing ridge pushing in from the west. We kind of have a, a warm up over the US. This trough will dig down, uh, go over uh, the, the southeast, and this will actually kind of hug up the coast. I mean, uh, this is going to be kind of too far offshore to bring too much uh, snow for the northeast. You might get some flurries and maybe a, a couple inches out of this, but this low pressure is basically going to be too far offshore. We see this trough here in the northwest that continues uh, to remain active. So they're seeing a lot of rain and a lot of a lot of snow in the interior mountain regions uh, from this very active Pacific Northwest flow. And then by Wednesday, we do have a trough kind of setting up over uh, Texas that will bring uh, some rain showers possibly east of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. But the bigger situation is de this developing ridge that it, it's going to take some time to evolve. But this, this ridge is going to eventually kind of set up a blocking pattern that will kind of set the stage for these troughs to set up underneath and bring in that colder air and bring, you know, some rain and wintery precipitation to areas that just have may have not seen any so far this year. So here's by Friday, we've got that kind of what they call Greenland blocking starting to kind of take shape. It builds divergence underneath We've got a developing trough going into the southeast. Uh, whenever you see this trough to the south, you know, to the to the south, you always kind of look to the north where you're going to have possibly that storm track uh, bringing possibly winter precipitation. These little low pressures have their own kind of cold core with it. Um, and so there's not terribly too much Arctic air right now, but there's a lot of Arctic air that's building up to the north. And so as this kind of blocking pattern kind of starts to kind of take shape and kind of mold, that will allow the cold air to kind of funnel further down into the United States and then possibly the Arctic air uh, to, to funnel down into the United States, uh, you know, after that. So this is by Friday. So we're trying, we're kind of setting the stage for kind of a, a, a conveyor belt of storms, um, you know, o over time. So as we go through, Saturday. Now this would be, this is today is Monday. So now we're talking Saturday. So this is a little ways off, but as this ridge starts to build, it's, it kind of deepens and strengthens. And this will set the stage for kind of divergence underneath and these troughs that set up over the South central and Southeastern part of the United States, bringing rain showers. But as these that cold core kind of deepens and draws in that colder air, that air mass will just get colder uh, over time, uh, setting the stage for a potential situation for a wintry mix uh, setup for the South. And by Sunday, going into possibly next Monday, so we are talking six to seven days away, but then by then, that blocking pattern kind of really starts to take shape 
and really kind of deepens. You can see this developing ridge way up to the north of over Canada and, and North America. We've got this huge trough over the Gulf of Alaska digging in and this trough uh, d taking shape over uh, Texas. And this could possibly bring some wintry weather possibly by Sunday or Monday for the deep south. We're talking places like Texas, places like Oklahoma, potentially Arkansas, places even, even as far south as maybe Louisiana may see some wintery precipitation as the storm track uh, kind of deepens and, and kind of you know hugs the southeast and eventually will move off the southeast. You can see by next Wednesday, of course, this is the 13th, but this this developing ridge really starts to amplify and kind of lock itself in you can see where the ridge takes place that's when the pna potentially goes uh positive over the northwest and then really sets the stage for the eastern two-thirds of the u.s to bring troughiness down into uh, texas down into the southeast going up the coast so we've we've got but uh, potentially that system would probably hug the carolinas by then and then a lot of the operational models uh, would be a coastal would be a coastal hugger uh, by then for the northeastern parts of the United States. We have this uh, what they call an, an NAO, which is a, a, a negative NAO, the North Atlantic Oscillation. And this is what they call a west based NAO. So that would put the ridge over Greenland and then kind of set the stage for a potentially, uh, you know, southeast and coastal hugger event uh, for uh, the northeastern part uh, of the U.S. So as we take you to the Friday, here's some of the temperatures. So as that cold core, as that trough kind of digs in uh, by then, we start to see those anomalies kind of drop. I mean, we are, this is January, right? This is typically the coldest time of the year. So to bring snow, it really doesn't have to be that far below normal even even below normal especially for the northern tier of the u.s because you're cold anyways but for the south it definitely kind of needs to be uh below normal temperatures to imply that you maybe have a, a wintery mix because your average temperatures like say for example in the dallas fort worth area is 56 degrees so when you're talking anomalies you know eight to you know, 10 degrees below average that's not going to be cold enough to have a uh, winter uh, precipitation but by Sunday, they do imply that we could be cold enough all the way down into uh, Texas for as that troughing, troughing pattern sets up uh, over overhead, we could bring rain showers and a mixed precipitation all the way down into uh, Texas, getting possibly into portions of uh, Arkansas and to Louisiana by then. So believe it or not. Uh, so as this troughing pattern kind of really starts to uh, take shape, it'll bring in that colder air and it has a cold core with it. And so by, yeah, Monday morning, we've got temperatures widespread freezing. So the temperatures with precipitation around would be cold enough to have at least a mixed precipitation if not snow it's hard to say where exactly this is going to set up right now but the trough puts it all the way down into texas the storm track brings it all the way into texas so with freezing temperatures and precipitation around for this huge chunk of the southeast in texas and oklahoma yeah it's it's definitely looking like a, a possibly winter a precipitation type setup all the way down for the deep south and yeah look at the anomalies by uh, monday morning with those freezing temperatures that puts it you know 10 15 almost almost 20 degrees uh, below average temperatures all the way down for the deep south and that trough will continue to extend we have that di divergence up ahead where we have that ridge building and the upper levels kind of like i showed you that will the break you know help build those cold core uh, underneath and bring those anomalies down further and by then by by tuesday we could be looking at a potential kind of coastal hugger for the carolinas and then eventually probably hugging the coast at least at least a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, ensemble members uh guidance uh right now with that west but west based nao developing uh by the 11th 12th and possibly 13th this will kind of hug up the eastern part of the United States with the potential uh, storm track uh, and bringing some snow to areas that probably hasn't seen much snow, especially along coastal regions. But 
here's the overall precipitation for the next seven days you can see that the, the the north the northwest flow is just very active bringing some very heavy rain for the intercoastal regions northern parts of california getting into portland uh you know areas of oregon and washington and then transferring to heavy snow into the interior regions as we get into the mountains and but as that nao to kind of develops uh, throughout the week and kind of really locks in a week from now that'll set the stage for troughiness underneath and these could bring some, you know, one to three inch rainfall totals of uh, precipitation. So you can see the areas that have precipitation and then areas that are going to be cold enough uh, to transfer that into snow could potentially bring a mixed bag of precipitation by then in Texas, all the way into Arkansas, getting into Louisiana. It's hard to say, you know, right now the exact track. So that's why I'm not actually showing you the actual snowfall, but going on the upper levels, uh, puts it puts that troughiness all the way down into the deep south going into the southeast so this kind of sets the stage for you know much colder temperatures as we go into uh, this weekend and early next week for the deep south and the southeast and it'll eventually rug up, run up uh, going to the carolinas bringing snow you have not seen too much snow for the carolinas and then we'll get into uh, virginia and this will hug the coast potentially after that we're talking the 12th 13th and 14th time frame going up to the eastern seaboard uh by then so hey i i appreciate you guys uh watching i just kind of want to give you an overall view of the setups of storm tracks that's going to be taking shape over the next week uh do like this video definitely leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to catch the latest update where i protect you before and after the storm